Hello everyone, it's Maxim and today we're going to talk about how to build OTT in Premium. So it will, it will not be a deck profile because there is a lot of way to, to play OTT um, in Premium. What I want to do there is just giving you a rundown of every possible build that can be playable, their strength and weaknesses and why I prefer some build to, to others and also what you need to be thinking of when you're building OTT or premium. So, uh, first thing to know, there is uh, two key points to always keep in mind where, when you will be building uh, an OTT deck. First, you have to think of your wincon and uh, mostly of your lethal zone because now thanks to the ban list we can't do Ichikishima on our, f on our first try when going second and uh, we will be doing it if we get a ill trigger uh, on our first try when going first so what you have to, to keep in mind is even if you will be doing a lot of card advantage um, the format makes it so the second try will be almost always lethal uh, for the one playing it so if you're going first you have to put a lot of pressure so you will be able to kill on your first Ichikishima turn or at least uh, make your opponent lose a lot of cards in uh, his end and if you're going uh, second you have to create enough card advantage so you will not die from the stride of your opponent so that change a lot and we'll be seeing that when I introduce every boss monster so uh, we'll be starting with hexagonal magus the magus build is kinda interesting because he is the one uh, that synergizes the most with um, one of our stride uh, which is uh, Momo. So uh, I should give a random of uh, of the stride first. The main stride, the one you want to always be going for, is Ichikishima because when you go GB3, you will be able to block G Guardian and Grade Zero. Uh, grade Zero are important, but the real strength of Ichikishima is blocking Hill Guardians because uh, that helps us against a lot of uh, decks that can retire or, or, um, or cards in battle. So the thing is if you go for every other stride you always have to remember that the, your opponent will be able to use his uh, G Guardians so always think is it worth it uh, to go for um, another thing. Um, I think Momo seems overpowered, like CB1 uh, gets plus 30 gear on, on the front row and restand. But it actually is not. Uh, you know, you're losing a lot of card advantage here, and if you don't kill with Momo, you will die. So this try is not good if you don't kill your opponent with it. So, yeah, don't first try it, except, and we will see this. If you're playing Magus, because Magus have something that's called um, Fusili uh, Magus, which make it so you get one drive, which means you get six drive with um, your your Momo, and so the card advantage, card advantage you gain is enough to mitigate the discard three, so you, you will go uh, like if you have gone for every other stride who doesn't uh, create cards in your hand so it's kinda okay but it will still cost you uh, two CB and one full blast which you might not always have so Magus is an exception, an exception but if you or playing any other build, I don't think it's good uh, to to go uh, to go for Momo. Uh, someone might say, 
Yeah, but Battle Sister Fromage let us draw two, so we can only discard one, uh, and then uh, we will draw four, so it will mitigate two. And that's kinda true, so there is some uh, potential to, to go Momo in Fromage, but you have to always think that after you did that, your opponent will be able to stride. Uh, since you go, uh, since it's your first stride, it will be able to G guard to go GB3. And if you, for example, against uh, a Shadow Paladin deck or a, a Royal Pad Paladin deck, you will go GB3. Will will enable either Morphesa or um, Chain Rancor for Shadow Paladin, and uh, will just destroy you because you didn't create enough end. Because OTT before Grade Three. Do not create a lot of end. Uh, there is exception that I will talk about just later, but mostly they don't create a lot of card advantage. So if you go for Momo, you will not have enough card to survive. So please don't Momo first try, you will just lose. You might win because you, you just trig, trig, trig or lose something, but uh, that's not really good. Um, the same can be said about uh, Calico. Uh, I don't like uh, Calico Amaterasu uh, in uh, every build because it creates uh, some clunkiness in your build. Also, uh, you will not have always uh, 4 or 3 Amaterasu in deck, which will make your turn less threatening. You have less rush op option since you're playing Calico and Amaterasu, and also uh, if your opponent is playing out against OTT and he has a brain, he will mill again for PG if he have them. Like if you're playing against Protect, it's useless because most Protect can generate uh, two marker or at least have access to something to to survive this or G guard. Uh, if you're playing against um, most deck uh, play uh, grade one uh, PG, so w they will milligan for for them, and you will see that honestly it's useful against like half of the deck, and it creates a lot of grade three in your end, so you have less chill value, so you will be able to be rushed more easily. So yeah, I, I really don't like it, uh, playing Calico. I've tried for like 6 months now, and I really don't think uh, the neg of Calico uh, for going into an eye roll play is a way to play OTT. OTT is not supposed to be eye roll. It, it, it makes me remember of the people uh, trying to turbo dir to put pressure on your opponent, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, you, you, you don't have to play finisher like a rush deck, it's not, it's not OTT, OTT is more chill. So yeah. Hexagonal Magus uh, plus Facility Magus might do the trick. Uh, and honestly you can create a, a version like you're playing something like 3 Hexagonal Magus, 4 Facility Magus. Uh, why not 4? Because you just want a Magus on, uh, on board. You don't always want uh, to have hexagonal magus. Ju the only thing you need is a fusil magus on rail to to use Momo, and uh, you might play also uh, goddess of the amateur suits because since you mitigate the cost of the Momo play, you can go for high roll. There is no problem with that. Uh, also, you're filtering your deck. So in this deck. That's not bad. There is two kind of deck where Calico is not uh, Calico Amaterasu is not bad because it, it is useful for the game plan. It's when you're playing Brilliant Witch Popo in another deck, or if you're going for the Magus play. So that's it for Magus. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, even if you have access to to cards like uh, Diviner Kurikazuchi and uh, Rectangle Magus in this build. Uh, it will be uh, a bit lackluster uh, when going first, 
like you will not have much pressure so you will not you, you will not be able to force protect marker out of your opponent hand which can be pretty dangerous against the uh, protect deck so yeah keeping keep in mind keep it in mind um, and also you're very uh, you're very dependent uh, on uh, retire because if you if Silmagus got retired, you you can go, you can't go into Momo anymore. So that's a one turn things. It's not really a problem because you you still have uh, Hikishima and uh, you can build like uh, Magus and uh, and some uh, Silent Tom for example to to go first Momo, let your opponent uh, retire uh, to not have another Momo turn, and then just uh, go into, si into Silent Tom and Hikishima and kill your opponent. That, that's a way to, to play the game. Um, you yeah. So that's it. My guess is, is is really interesting, honestly. Um, but I, I will I will of go uh, into another build so so we can uh, try to to speak uh, to talk about uh, every kind of build that, that exists. So yeah, battle system fromage uh, is less good than it seems. Uh, why? Because it, it is good for not the good reason. Like what makes Battle so good is this card. It's Torijas that create card advantage in early. This is something that if you don't play the Tsukuyomi right line, you will not have access to. Uh, that's why, in my opinion, it's really important to to play Tsukuyomi right line if you're not playing Battle Sister because it creates early uh, early card advantage. Let you fetch your heals, the, so in against the rush deck, you will be able to not sustain too much of uh, of damage that would put in a, in a dangerous zone, uh, and uh, yeah, you you will just survive the early just because you're you're playing Sukuyomi. And if you're playing Battle Sister, it's kind of the same. Like you you play Storage as you you draw draw one, like it's as stupid as it is uh, if it's a Battle Sister. But yeah, the, the downside of, uh, of Battle Sister is that you have to play only Battle Sister. And even if some are, are great, like uh, Kasata, it, uh, it's for uh, 18k, so it's really strong. Uh, also, we have um, Trifle, who is a really great card. But besides that, they are not all that good. So you you will be able to to play cards that are not really versatile, and also you want to, to spam the field because you you want to to put pressure uh, on your opponents because your your vanguard uh, has not much pressure at all, like it's sitting for um, twenty uh, for twelve k. If you boost it with a casta, you might. Uh, end up hitting 30k, which can be great, but to do that, you have to put a Kasata on board, you have to to put uh, cards uh, to the field, to discard one, to stack uh, your, your trigger, so there is a lot of investment here that kind of mitigates the draw too, and so you, you draw, okay, you build your board, you, you can be as aggressive as the deck, but in the end, you you don't have you, you have as much card in your end as for other deck. So yeah, it, it can be can be dangerous, and honestly, it's not as good as it seems. Uh, also, if your opponent uh, is able to to stay on low damage, low damage because you you don't got yeah, you only got great two in your end, that happens. Uh, so you you're not able to to rush that much. And if you don't really rush uh, your opponent, so you put it at two at three damage, it will be really hard uh, next turn to to just uh, put some pressure with Shikishima because your opponent will just be able to to no guard, try to to get some defensive and uh, and just uh, win. So yeah, not uh, not that sure about fromage, like. Uh, it's really great when going second because you you can go into fromage, you draw two, you go into uh, gelato, the um, 
let's just try the the battle star stride you you get one uh, if you got some early crit you can even go for momo but it's very very dangerous never forget that so yeah battle star uh, have a great uh, have a great way to, to create a uh, card advantage but uh, yeah you're playing great one uh, g1 for from g uh, like the battle st uh, straight for the so you kinda lack in shield you also lack in uh, damage value since you you will be running the um, the muffin sp the muffin uh, crit so you have a uh, 5k 5k uh, um, trigger that might change a lot of things you also want to play psychic birds since you have a soul problem in this deck so you have to, to mitigate a lot of things and uh, in the end this deck is not always good to to play, uh, I think. I, I'm not a huge, huge fan uh, of the deck to, to, to be honest. Just if you want, if you like it, you go full uh, full battle sister. You you have a, a cool profile uh, on uh, solemn, um, solemn uh, channels that go for the for the uh, the loop uh, with um, oh, diviner yeah diviner lepisto so you just uh, stack your the trigger with uh, waki wa waki rime uh, and you just uh, use the uh, the trigger but as always it's very very high roll like you have to draw your the trigger not uh, not everything else, and uh, so if you don't, well, it's kind of hard. And also, another problem of going into Waka Irume, my things, are, uh, it, going into Waka might be a, a bad idea because uh, if you are, are against like Kagero, like Narukami, or, or like uh, a lot of decks that can uh, just send your card back against Gear, Chron Gear Chronicle uh, against uh, Grand Blue against uh, Pain Moon I think can still do this with uh, Tricky Assistant so you will just try to do the play your card will be sent back to the deck destroy everything and you will just lose your, your turn so yeah not, uh, not a fan of cards that uh, are not great every time <laughs> that might be a bias from me but uh, that's my opinion so yeah let's go uh, for the, the other build so you have the Tsukuyumi build that might become better since we were getting new support like uh, we're getting the Sai that is a, a really great card because uh, we always had a, a soul problem in uh, in OTT. So thanks to say we will, we might not, uh, we might be able to to not use anymore the psychic bird. So that's great because we we want to have a 10k trigger uh, as as much 10k trigger as uh, as possible. So being able to to do that is a uh, really great news. Um, but what can the, the deck do? So we have the Tsukumi uh, lineup, which is uh, really great. Like I said, uh, I don't know uh, when, but uh, I said it. Uh, it creates early card advantage. This is what this deck needs the most because you you want to to be able to to survive, to to not be to touch your ill, to touch your pieces. To just you create a lot of value out uh, of uh, the Tsukuyumi uh, right line. Uh, even if I don't always play the full right line, I tend to at least have four of uh, the grade one, and uh, most of the time I also play uh, grade two. So yeah, really great. Uh, the the Goddess of the Moon uh, Tsukuyumi uh, is kinda useless going first 
uh, honestly you don't really put that much pressure uh, if you don't get the full skill and the only way to get the full skill it's by playing either the the um, white air of Inaba which is a, a great one that uh, lets you um, put a card from from your hand in soul uh, I saw people and I have tried also uh, playing uh, goddess, uh, this one, the goddess of half moon Tsukuyumi to get the full skill from the full charge too but uh, honestly you will be, be missing the 3 plus 1 of, uh, of Tsukuyumi so yeah, so that, that's kind of sad to to do. Uh, you have also the new the new grade two uh, that let you do that, but it's only if your opponent is grade three, so you won't get it in the the first try. So yeah, the only option is White of Inaba to try to get the first skill life. If you get it, honestly. Or you will have a, a really strong deck because you have been doing plus two. You're going, uh, you do uh, plus two on this turn and put a lot of pressure thanks to stacking card on uh, trigger on top of your deck, getting the plus 10k on uh, the front row. So you're looking very threatening if your skill is live. And also, uh, in going second, you're not really afraid because you will be able to go for the Tsukuyumi stride that lets us um, just draw, draw two cards. Uh, draw one because you, you draw two and you discard one. So, uh, um, yeah. Of, uh, no, you don't discard one, you put one into your soul. So. You can activate that way the Tsukuyumi uh, skills, but it's still plus one. Uh, the only plus two we have as a stride is Ichikishima. That's why I wield most of the time with uh, most of the build going to Ichikishima first stride because I want to build and to survive my opponent first stride. Even if uh, then I will only have two uh, Ichikishima turn or one, depending on how I play it. But uh, that's not a problem. Like that's really, really not a problem. So uh, because I, uh, I still have other way. And if I don't kill on the first Ichikishima, I w think I'm dead anyway. Because uh, the curve's power of every other deck becomes just too much to handle. So not saying you have to kill on the first Ichikishima stride, but honestly, if you don't. It becomes really, really hard, honestly, to, to play the game. You have to, if you survive after the, after the first, you can go for Momo. Honestly, uh, that's not a problem. Like going Ichikishima full skill, Ichikishima full skill, and go Momo. It's, uh, it's really, it's still good. Uh, just keep in mind that if you do that, your opponent will still have a lot of trigger in, in his end uh, because you Ichikishima make your opponent lose uh, non-trigger cards. So afterwards, it will be complicated. Uh, the only alternative is going uh, Ichikishima, Ichikishima and then Waki Rime and try to kill on the over, tr over trigger. Uh, another option is not play is to not play the over trigger and uh, play Ultima instead. So you have uh, an ultimate turn to, to try to, to finish the game. That might be good but yeah, same problem uh, as uh, other strive against deck uh, that can retire you on battle. It's very very problematic, so yeah. Uh, next build, so we have talked about Magus, we have talked about Fromage, we have talked about Squeamy, we have two builds left. Uh, I will keep Susano for the end, I will just present you a build that is in my opinion uh, underrated. It's the uh, Oto Gosaime uh, build. Uh, so. This card is one place CB1 draw two cards. It's a really good card in premium because when you put it in stride, you draw two. So for one CB, so you don't have a soul problem. You don't have to play Psychic, psychic Bird. Uh, also, uh, you have 
a somewhat decent turn uh, going first, but it's the same problem as as, um, as normal. It's you have to discard card, and you don't want to discard card. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, it is often played with uh, the Tsukimi right line because you want to you want to have uh, to have cards uh, like. Uh, rectangle, like things to to try to create card advantage. It's kind of good going um, going uh, second, but going first is uh, like most of the card in uh, in OTT are really lackluster. So always, re uh, oh yeah, forgot to talk about uh, the the great two, uh, the great two. Uh, the best card to, to rush is Chikishima, uh, really underrated card. It's a solid 19k beater. It's all you want. You you want a card that bit uh, that is a strong stick to, to put pressure to to make your opponent like put trigger on your vanguard and take it because he, he knows that you, it will be strong. You want uh, Korikazuchi because it's your main. Uh, Great to ride if you don't play the the um, screamy red line, and uh, even if you play it, you can always uh, go for it. You have one more drive check. You get either a plus 10k because you got a cri uh, crit or a heal, or a plus 6k, so you have a, a solid uh, 15k beater that make your opponent uh, guard for 10 or. Uh, more than uh, than 15 if you hit a trigger uh, with uh, your vanguard. So really great. Uh, another card that is great, but you often are not sure uh, to to get the the CB early. So it will it will be less important than the other two in my opinion. If you want to rush. Uh, you will also have the option of going into Battle Sister Shuket to stack heal on top of your deck. So you you take the damage, you you go uh, like um, ride Tsukuyumi, Rectangle Magus, CB1, check to try to find a heal. Uh, you put the heal on a, you, you don't get it, or oh, it's too bad. So blast one, put a, a heal on top, heal your those damage you, you just taken. And uh, then you, you you have created a lot of ad advantage, and you will be safe, or more safe than uh, than ever. Uh, than if you don't, uh, when doing it, just uh, things to keep in mind: you playing Soul Blast, so you might have to run Psychic Blood to try to compensate. So yeah, a good of uh, a lot of good uh, grade through grade two uh, use. Uh, soul Blast, so always keep in mind uh, if you have too much cards that play with Soul Blast, you have to run uh, Psychic Build. And if you run Psychic Build, you lessen your your offensive. Even if the deck is, n is not supposed to be offensive, you have to put some damage, otherwise, your opponent will just stay low in damage, try to no guard your first Ishima turn, and you will lose. So don't go for full C, uh, full card advantage in OTT, that's not uh, how it works. And that's why I, I like the Susano build, because it, it helps us... Uh, it, it doesn't help us as much when going second. Like, when going second you, you will kind of have a hard time, but if you just go for Ichikishima draw 2, you will still be okay. Like, you, you draw 5 cards in the turn, so it's kind of okay to, to survive. And uh, also, you you just have the best uh, great return out of all of OTT boss, like you except uh, Tsukuyomi full power. But if you if you go for Susano, like you will always have a good rush. Like just put uh, Ichikishima have a 19 k beat stick. You put your um, Koei Kazuchi. Uh, you will have. Three drive before drive checking, uh, have a field 
that's more than 20k so your opponent will have to either no guarding and then you will be really dangerous when going for the Ichikishima play afterwards or you you will have to your opponent will have to use a lot of card in, in his hand to try to stay low in damage and then the offensive next turn will be uh, less good and so you will go into Ichikishima again uh, create some advantage uh, if you got cards that let you draw like Rectangle Magus and, uh, and so on you might n even not need to use the full skill of uh, Ichikishima and then have uh, another Ichikishima turn so that might be great so, uh, all, yeah, just to think if you playing OTT and Ichikishima people will try to use uh, they trigger early. Always count it. Try to to see if they uh, still have trigger and end. So when your opponent have no more, you you can go free into uh, like if your opponent use a lot of trigger early, you can uh, go full uh, skill Ichikishima on the second stride and then uh, finish with Momo because he won't be able to to destroy you. That's uh. Like something to always keep in mind, premium con the ill trigger, they are the, the most impo important things. Uh, if you know your matchup, you will know that some um, grade 1 PG are also very strong, so try to con them as well, and then you, you will be good. And I think we're good. Uh, I'll talk about uh, grade 2. Yeah, I, I will talk a bit about uh, grade 2. So if you want to, this one might be really good in uh, going forward if you don't play the Tsukuyumi uh, right line. Because in my opinion if you play the Tsukuyumi right line you will be putting your heal into your hand. So Chuket will not be as useful as it could be. Still a really good uh, card to play along with uh, Amaterasu and um, and uh, the great three, so always keep in mind. Also, uh, never forget if you play Shuket and uh, Kuro Kazuchi in the same build, you have to go for the Psychic Bird. And if you don't play Kuro Kazuchi, you might have a hard time uh, rushing. You can go for the Shuket uh, Ichikishima, trying to put uh, a hill on top, having a solid bit stick, and uh, then uh, then. Uh, Attack for 12 with uh, Tsukuyumi. Trigger 22. Not a good, not a good, uh, not a good uh, number. Might have to to put a heal, another heal, a crit that go into Soul uh, beside it, or just a grade one. We have a, a good grade one. Grade one. Uh, if you play a lot of CB, like you you can play Q Kone Magis. It's really useful, like you, you can uh, counter charge, you you can uh, go past the number, like 7k is good with uh, with Tsukuyomi. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's not really that good in early game, uh, because going into a rectangle and, uh, and still uh, doing things, you, you don't want to to soul to use your, the soul that much when uh, going with uh, Tsukuyumi uh, ray line so and the card to consider is the uh, silent tomb because the, this card is really really threatening against uh, every non protect deck so that might be good I have a soft spot for uh, Popo as well because uh, you will often go on your second stride under the the ten card in uh, in your deck, so having something that says uh, on my second Chikishima turn uh, you die is pretty good. But uh, if you want to to close the game early on, Silent Tom is good. Just keep in mind that it's useless. Well, no, it's not useless, but it's very less useful. Now that the ill grade 3 is there because uh, the opponent can guard with the uh, grade 3 ill. Uh, that might be a good thing though, 
uh, like playing Silent Tom, forcing Il Guardian out of your opponent hand, so he won't be able to, to G Guard anymore and then going into Momo. Uh, there, there are some play to, to do with this if you. But you have to, to know your opponent match matchup, so. Honestly, really good. Uh, I was playing a lot of Romai's Daughter before, uh, because I really like the. just for nothing, 15k be a bit sick. But honestly, Kurikazuchi is way better. So if you're playing Chuket and you did a bit stick that doesn't use soul, you can still go for Promise Daughter. Still a good card. Rectangle Magus, uh, in my opinion, you have to, to play at least two, because the, the card is really great, uh, knows that the format has slowed down, because people will give you CB, uh, and the... It's just uh, a free card, like you place it, you get one card and you stack a card uh, on top of your deck, so... Uh, we want fr we, we like free thing in, in OTT, we, we actually don't have much of them, so we, we like it. Uh, for grade 1, I if you don't play... if you play Battle Star, you have to play this. If you don't, in my opinion, you have to play the Tsukuyumi and Sai things, because... If you ride Sai, you get Tsukuyumi, you get one soul. If you get one soul, you don't have to play Psychic Bird because you you play for Sai. So you have to you have things to, to put cards into your soul. You know, you might also use the skill to stack it your deck, so you have free free stacking, uh, free soul uh, management. Well, not free because you you're still losing one card, but it's still it's still a really good card. Like you you can uh, you can use uh, your Chikishima that will stay at 9k to stack your deck, s fix your soul, and then call another one or a rectangle Magus, so you won't lose too much. So yeah, really great card. I think I will play it in most of my deck. Another things I uh, wanted to consider, uh, uh, I wanted to to play was uh, Fuyo, because I really like uh, having a uh, a second right, right target. In a non Tsukuyomi build, beside uh, beside uh, Kurikazuchi, but in my opinion, Kurikazuchi is far better. So, yeah, Tsukuyomi plus Kurikazuchi is really good. And for the boss monster, if you're playing the Tsukuyomi right line, you have to go either Suzano or Tsukuyomi or Magus. Honestly, really never forget uh, Tsukuyomi right line. In most build, is really strong. More so if you want to to play a Calico one because it less puts your Amaterasu uh, in the bottom of your deck, so you will be able to use uh, Calico Amaterasu at full strength. So, and as I, as I said, it also helps to to fetch your Fossili Magus, and if you have Fossili and Hexagonal Magus, you have enough card, uh, you have enough draw power to go into the um, the um, the Momo in your first stride going seven, but uh, yeah, still even if you have it, don't uh, if you see that your opponents have PG in end, you can also try to keep uh, for the Magus build keep the Amateur too on the bottom. You know you are stacked them there, so you you have time, you have time to to play for the Momo, put pressure get uh, your opponent card out of his hand, because you, you're eating for a lot, and then going into Ichikishima and uh, Amaterasu and uh, killing your opponent. That might be more threatening if you're doing that way, and uh, honestly I don't think going uh, going into the Magus build without the Tsukuyumi to, to help you put away the Amaterasu is a, is a good thing. That's okay. I've, I've been talking for a lot of time. I've lost. Uh, I've lost <laughs> count of the time. Wow, forty. <laughs> oh my god, this is so long. I hope you liked it. Uh, honestly, uh, I've just been talking for so long. Oh my god. Uh, hope you understand everything I said. Uh, if you have any question, uh, just put a comment down below. Uh, if you liked it, put a like because it. Help me to to grow and uh, yeah, I hope you 
you liked it. it. It was very long. Sorry about that, but I wanted to to talk uh, f to uh, about TT in depth because it's my favorite deck, uh, favorite clan of uh, of all time. So yeah, just got a little passionate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, see you soon. Bye.